Hello, hello, hello. I love commentating. We got we got Mateo from Stealth, of course. Very, very classic set. Yeah, very classic set in New Jersey. It's like yeah, these two play all the time. I think I like actually. Yeah, they're either playing in friendlies or playing in bracket. I think I've seen these two play like literally. All so time. many times, like that, like the past two weeks, I think they've played in bracket, like every single time. Every time, I and don't then think they immediately start playing friendlies after. I don't think there are any jersey tournaments allowed if like Matt and Delta Force don't play. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, right now Delta has a small lead. It's nothing too big. Yeah, like just a back air. I'll take that. Yeah. Of course, it's gonna be even between these two, because like you know, they know each other very well. This is just kind of like. What's happening? Yeah, this this is the kind of set that like the decision making goes well beyond the two characters on the screen, and more so 
like the two players playing each other. Definitely, definitely. Good combo from Mateo right now. Just pretty solid. Yeah, gets that good string out. 52. Not going to take the lead back, but that forward air is going to do it. So now, very even game right now. Delta Force does have a little bit more stage positioning. Tries to go for the bomb setup, doesn't get it. The bomb actually blows up in his base, putting him in a worse position. <laughs> he almost gets a reversal off stage. Yeah. Ooh, blood after coming in my oh, tail. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that up air is very strong. <laughs> I wonder if they go back to PS2. I can see it. I know... <laughs> I'm not too sure about Delta, uh, what stages he likes, because I'm just... Uh, obviously, whenever I play him, we always just go Battlefield, but I think between these two, these two probably have a stage that they both think they're even on. Yeah, uh, they went right back to PS2. So. Makes sense, makes sense. Because I feel like you probably... You don't want to be too far away from Palu, but you also don't want to be too close to Palu. Yeah. Especially as, as Link, um, I think... He excels at the mid range, and I think that's probably where he wants to keep Palu. Yeah, but I mean, like, PS2, I guess, is pretty standard, but I feel like PS2 is the longest, largest league, uh, the longest, largest, le uh, the longest legal stage. Of Dude, I keep saying longest and then largest after. It's, it's the longest legal stage in the game. I got you. Yeah. I think right above Town and City, which yeah, that's true. makes it a little bit more difficult, I think, to like stay in that mid range. Yeah. But at the same time, it just depends on what Mateo's banning. Probably banning like closer stages, so Delta Force kind of has to yeah. use this stage. That makes sense. So, <sighs> I think, yeah, right now, okay, right now it's definitely Mateo's like lead here. Good counter. Yeah, he's That's got the thing. Bomb in hand. Ooh, but the bomb in hand is gonna get the recovery. Is gonna be able to play out the stock a little bit longer. Maybe yeah. be able to get something off of it. Yeah. I know Marvel does that a lot against Delta. Good back throw. Marvel against Delta. Yeah, I've asked him about it. He, the way he beats Delta is he always just does essentially like. Um, a flow chart at ledge mm -hmm. that Marvel takes uh takes approach of and just always wins off that that counter of being the biggest thing whenever mm -hmm. Delta goes low. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and once the link goes low, like you have to put out a hitbox to get yeah. back up. So to get the counter, counter is so free. All right, back to and the then game. usually like auto reticle if they if the link tries to go high. But also yeah, good good ball coming in from Delta, and now we're back to an even position. Even oh yeah, yeah. for a second. Delta put himself in a corner, but I mean, he's right back in the corner. Yeah, good combo string, 59%. Lost See the auto reticle when he goes high, and then goes for the F smash just to get that it's good punish. Got his bomb back. Has to use the bomb recovery. Mateo, uh, I guess, <laughs> getting the angle wrong. Tries to go for an F smash. But the angle and the timing. But yeah, it's still fine though. Has a good position right now. Very neutral, right? Uh, very neutral mm. position, but still, Delta on the back end needs to find something quick. Good bomb to pressure Mateo up off of that ledge so he can get back. Boomerang helps him get out the corner. Yeah, I Boomerang think. too. Boomerang's a really strong tool. I think, yeah. honestly, uh, Link's Boomerang is probably the best Boomerang out of the three. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's definitely the one that provides the most positioning for Link. Oh, okay. Rather, ra so well. yeah, rather than Young Link, who mostly uses it as a quick combo starter, yeah. or Toon Link, who really just uses it to push you back. Yeah, that makes sense. I see that. Good backer coming in from Mateo. Back to even. Yeah, again, like these two are just so neck and neck constantly. Yeah. Even if one gets a big lead, the other just comes and wins. That is a good combo string. Backer uppy. I've never seen that before. Yeah. 351. All right. Wow, good combo string. Yeah, using that boomerang. The ledge. I See suspect it? Matt's gonna teleport out of here. No. Yeah. He tries to nair. Ooh, good catch on the jump from ledge again. Ooh, oh, good catch yeah. there, and that's gonna be the stock. And Delta Force taking game two pretty solidly. Yeah, I assume we're gonna go back to PS2. Yeah, probably. Ledge from up special. That was cleanly executed. Yeah, pretty smart, especially for Link, who gets yeah. a lot at ledge with his up special. Yeah. And it's. Loki kind of hard to fall out of that F special. It's okay. It depends. It's um not that difficult to fall out. The issue is it just depends on Link mostly. So like so like Delta has had some times where he SDs because he tries to extend out and then drop back to try and recover back to the stage if it doesn't kill. But a lot of the time, if he holds out too far and then drops back, a lot of people will fall out if they're right at the tip. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. that makes sense. I, I think I've seen that before. Yeah, it's happened a few times. I saw it against Alpha Reviewer. It was very unfortunate. Yeah. 
All right, so we went to small battlefield this time. Small battlefield. Makes sense. I guess you want to be closer to Link if you're yeah. Mateo. Yeah. But for, for a lot of this, it's kind of the same thing as PS2. It's just now there's a lot less space yeah. to be had at the ledge. Mm -hmm. So arguably it's a better position, Mateo, who was taking control of that ledge trapping a little bit better yeah. than Delta Force was, as we see right now. And there's less ground cover when you're trying to juggle him. Yeah. Good forward air. Mateo, yeah. I think, trying to get a parry there, but not getting it. Yeah, he messed up the timing on a second there. I think... Uh, mm, Matt yeah. fights his way out the corner. Barely sneaking out against that F-tail with the fair. Good tool, though. Ooh, good bomb. Good bomb ledge trap. That is Delta Force bread and butter at the ledge. That bomb is so solid. Yeah. Tries to get the up beat, just swinging out, uh, but gets up smash instead, because Mateo playing patiently. <laughs> That's back there. Good this is really back. interesting between these two. Like, usually they were just taking stocks pretty quickly, and yeah. then the other would just catch right back up. Yeah. But that one was a very drawn out instance. Yeah. And now Delta Force gets back in with the up tilt. With the up tilt, and now we're back to an even position, like constantly. It's just back and forth between these two, but yeah. it always just ends up going back to even position at these stocks. Yeah. A lot of these stocks start, stocks start the same way, too. Yeah. One of them gets their bread and butter, the other one gets their other bread and butter, and then it's even around 50-ish. And then they try to fight for corner pressure. Yeah, like right now, this is interesting, actually. Delta trying, just throwing her projectiles, but Mateo not really approaching, just like fading back between that platform in the center. Mm -hmm. It didn't seem to work out for him too well, but I, I wonder what he was trying to pull there. I think he was just trying to find a better position to go in. Yeah. Another bomb ledge trap coming in from Delta Force. Good setup. Good up tilt. And Delta Force currently having a lead, but again, between these two, Mateo really just needs one big opening and can if, really bring this back around. If he can get it. Delta Force's yeah. air to airs have been really, really that solid. F tilt barely stop. missing. Delta barely missing the spacing on that F tilt. Tries to go for the F smash, just not going to get it. And he misses the up air there. Good narrow to the corner. That narrow is so solid. Very solid. One of the like best priority moves in the entire game. Yeah. Not as fast as a lot of other uh, nares like that, like Foxes or Mario's. Or me, but Or me, <laughs> But it does do something that a lot of those can't do, and that be it beats out everything. Yeah. It literally beats out both of those moves. Yeah, I've it's seen not that crazy move final smashes. <laughs> no, like, actually, that's not even a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think this is the biggest lead we've seen so far. Yeah, probably, but again, like, oh, he lost right now the position, here. Mateo, and he he's gonna back. take it. See, like, yeah. even if you get a big lead, Mateo just managed to take it back, and Delta, again, now we're back to an even position. <laughs> hmm. It's starting to go a little bit towards Mateo here, but definitely a little bit more pressure being put on by Mateo, but Delta Force just trying to fight out of the corner right now. Yeah, that Nair saved him. Ooh, yeah, good Nair into the roll, gonna get the little bit of damage to the backer. Oh. Alright. Just again, very even position here. This could be anyone's game. I think it, it really comes down to who, like, puts, puts the pressure at the ledge harder. But both these yeah. two just using good tools to get out of it. Delta Force not going to get the fair there. And right now, it's looking a little bit more to Mateo's favor. Oh, oh going to get the back the throw. Back throw. Delta on, the, oh, Delta on the back foot right now here. Oh, going to throw the bomb. Going to get a little bit of damage out here. Get the positioning back. And now... We're back to an even position, back to an even game. Ooh. That forward air, apparently not going to take it. I don't oh, think... Oh, That was the first time Delta, that so far. Yeah. Delta not expecting it. Tries to go for a nair instead of like an up air to try and just catch him out of the air. Matt gets the parry on that forward air. That yeah, was good spacing, big, so he couldn't get... Barely, barely in missing the... the uh, rising back. Uh, yeah, the, the rising back is going to take it. We quite literally no attack to beat that. Very, very close between these two, but it looks like Mateo is just eking it out in his favor at these last hit scenarios. Palo Shield. I think when Delta gets his lead out, that's when he starts like really making big things happen. Like yeah. especially you saw game two. Yeah. But the problem is Mateo's just keeping it so close and Delta just isn't able to keep up. Yeah, and that one time he had a good lead, he unfortunately yeah, couldn't he make it. He threw it away. He yeah. gave up he gave Found out a like lot of 46. his defensive options. It was unfortunate. Yeah. Back to small. Yeah, back to small. 
Interesting. Delta Force is Delta Force goes to small here. I wasn't expecting that, but I guess he just wants to play it out here. Yeah. To be fair, the last game was in his favor, and it was pretty close. Ended up being pretty close. Yeah. So makes sense. He punishes the four there, and gets Good a effort. typical Palu Tech chase on a platform. Punishes the landing with the dash attack. Mm. He doesn't push advantage anymore after he lands. Yeah, but gets has the ledge. ledge. Yeah, this is where Palu gets a lot. Yeah, but, but fades back, fades wow, back. Boomerang. Lots of respect to Boomerang there. Yeah, Mateo actually putting a lot of respect on that ledge, not really trying to pressure uh, yeah. Delta Force. Just Probably doesn't want to overextend range. there. Yeah, it makes sense, but honestly, I'd take a little bit of an overextension if if it means, like, you know, having better positioning. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's my oh. B-Roller brain talking, but you know. It, it might be. <laughs> Still very even right now. Delta just pushing back with those boomerangs. Matt not really giving up anything Ooh, good there. But, so ooh, good back here. Delta Force trying to jump out, you know, with, as a little bit of a panic option, but Mateo reading that. Going, ready for that, yeah. Yeah, goes goes for that really solid uh, back, back air right there. It was really good food positioning, too. Yeah. He was in a perfect spot for just in case Delta Force jumped at that timing. Good little combo right now. Matt's got a good lead here. He doesn't really have to push the issue either. Yeah. Or he can. I think he can. a like, character right like here, gets a right, lot from having a lead. Right here, forward. like, yeah. If you're going to push, now would be the time to do it. Absolutely. And Mateo seeming to take mm. that to heart. Like, just gets so much damage out here. Yeah. Right now, Delta Force not able to keep up. Uh oh. Ooh, tries to go for a weird positioning there. Yeah. Is it going to work out? Reversal. Isn't going to work out, but he does not die because he does smartly drift to ledge, so Mateo yeah. can't just automatically kill him there. But now has a lot of ground to make up because of it. And he doesn't have bomb here. Doesn't, doesn't have it. bomb. Needs to get the stock. That might be it. Yes, that will do it. But Delta Force in a solid deficit here. This might be a little bit of an issue coming into this, but okay. not going to get hit by the up air. Going to get a little bit of this. damage. Mm -hmm. All yeah, right. little by little, Delta Force just trying to take this game back. Nice catch with the up air. Oh, just misses the second up air. Yeah, just misses it, gets hit by the Nair, but not going to take too much damage here. Yeah, Respect Matt from the tail on ledge. Yeah, Matt but didn't want to overextend there. Yeah. yeah. Good spacing. I think Delta isn't really... Uh -oh. Isn't respecting those bears. Isn't respecting the positioning from Mateo in that sort of, like, jump distance. Yeah. Because he's trying to push forward while Mateo has... Just is ready to throw a bear out. And right now, Mateo just taking this game it. super, super well. Yeah. That back air, right not gonna be it, but just barely it. The counter gonna come out. Nice patience. Gonna be dodged by Delta Force. Not gonna get the down air. Reading a roll jump there. Ooh, yeah. the back air is gonna take it. Mateo that takes it. 3-1. 69. Are you up now? Yeah, I think I gotta play that.